Hello everyone, welcome back to Matt's Top Tech. Today I just want to make a short video about the MSI Optics Mag 241C monitor. It's just going to be a short video on the settings of this monitor. We've been having quite a few questions about um, what the different settings are and how much difference it makes when you have it on the fastest settings that take advantage of the 144Hz and the 1 millisecond response time. So hopefully this will just give you a bit of a better idea if you're thinking about purchasing the monitor. So stay tuned guys. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So first up I just want to go through the settings now on the settings the very straightforward you can download the app as well I'm showing you this through the camera as opposed to through the capture card just so you can have a better idea of what you actually see when you're changing the settings so the monitor comes with five different settings so user FPS Racing, RTS and RPG so they all differ in brightness mainly that's all you get with them different settings you can set your own profile up up at the top there it tells you that we're at 1920 by 1080 we're at 144Hz and the game mode is user so that's what we're on at the minute and it tells you that free sync's on so you can set up your own profile um, we tend to leave it in user then what any changes you make they stay to that so if you want to set up FPS for when you're doing your first person shooting or you're doing real competitive gaming you can set that up and then every time you go to that it'll, it'll like keep your settings that you've already had so you can access them quickly just by pushing up on the monitor change the settings there so it's dead easy to do if you want to set up your own profile so in the settings some people have been having problems with the response time so as you can see there's only normal and fast highlighted there so in order to get onto the fastest setting to take advantage of the one millisecond response time you need to go all the way down and then down again and turn your free sync off so once your free sync's off you'll be able to change that response time to fastest so you can see there's a big difference in brightness and unfortunately when it's on the fastest setting you cannot adjust the brightness of the screen so just bear that in mind it doesn't affect when you you know you play back as such when you're in a poorly lit room it, you'll not notice any different but during the day it's nice to have the brighter screen so I tend to leave it on fast I've, I think I've used the fastest setting a couple of times just to try it out there's no noticeable difference for me so maybe you guys who are into competitive gaming might notice a bit more but that's how you get onto the fastest setting these monitors um, so there your profiles your black tuner I tend to leave that on 8 that's just right for me if you have it set too high you lose the borders on some programs there's no like distinguish it, distinguishing between like the border like you know the whites sometimes they just blur together there's no sort of black outline it's hard to describe on camera but so yeah I tend to leave that on 8 the response time we've just been through motion blur you know what that is refresh rate that's just a little um, it shows you this figure here what your refresh rate is so you can have that anywhere on the screen um, your alarm clocks your alarm clock and then just like I say don't forget that there's that one more tab 
just down on that menu to get your free sync off or on. So the rest of the settings are pretty straightforward. You got your professional, <coughs> these different settings again are just pre programmed modes that are maybe good for if you're watching films and stuff like that. You can quickly change between them. Just saves you having to change the brightness and the contrast and everything yourself. You can just change them dead quickly. The eye savers for like <coughs> your blue light. So you get like a warm colour. Image enhancement. I can't notice any difference with any of these settings. So I tend to just leave them off. And then in your image, so because we haven't got it on the fastest, you can see we can adjust the brightness. But if we go back and put it on the fastest setting, don't forget to turn that free sync off. So if we put it into the fastest setting, go down to the image you'll notice now you can't change the brightness so that's one thing everybody's worried about but as you can see it's in the fastest setting now and the brightness is absolutely fine so we'll go ahead and run heaven benchmark just so you can see what it's like on the fastest setting So as you can see the colours on the screen are still absolutely fine. It's definitely better if you're in a darker room because you do lose some of that brightness but it's still completely usable. So there you can see it's a nice refresh rate and the screen's still, still more than usable in the fastest settings. Okay, so we also did some slow motion capture on our phone at 240 frames per second. I'll put them up now and you can actually see the screen flicker when it's on the fastest settings. So you can see how much difference it actually makes being on the fastest settings. Okay, so I hope you found that useful, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.